Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Who was that? That was the boss. And what did he want? He says there's still little monkeys watching. Ah, hello. And he also says that they're watching a DVD, so they get extras. Oh, extra what? Extra this. <laughs> extra this. <laughs> extra this. <laughs> extra this. <laughs> and of course, extra this. <laughs> the captains of chaos are here, Dick and Dom, in another bungalow. How do? How do? And now, before you can say welcome. <laughs> Magic potion, and now everybody ignores me. It's almost as if I'm not here. I don't have a problem. Do you have a problem? We all have problems, but I'm just see through. I go to a party, and people just ignore me. I see a pretty girl approach them, bid them a good evening, and they scream, run away. I shall never be married unless you marry me. Shall we be married? All of us, shall we be married? I'd love to marry all of you lot. Then I could live a normal life. But when I go to the doctor, I say, Doctor, can you see me now? He says, No. I tell him that's my problem. He says, Shut up! We'll come back to you later. All right then, thank you, Invisible Man. All right, over there, Dom. Give a silly grin, but one false move gets a pie on the chin. It's musical splatches. Musical splatches. The idea of this game is perfectly simple. Well, OK, yeah, very simple. All you have to do is like your musical statues, but we use splatches instead of statues. Uh, when you hear the music stop, you get a pie in your face. If you move, uh, and then you have to sit down. We nice. do that to a little yeah. one person. Yeah, nice. OK, now listen. Oh, honestly, honestly. honestly Listen, we're going to take away all your bungalow points now. Raja, that will mean nothing to you, because I'm got any anyway. <laughs> right, but if, if you don't play this game properly, we'll take all your bungalow points away. So please put the hair gel down. <laughs> please put that hair gel down. <laughs> Shoot, let's turn over the leaf and actually think about this for a second, all right? So we're trying to make a television show at the end of the day. We're trying to make a television show, okay? And it's just silly, okay? <laughs> so can we play a game yeah. properly? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're all friends? Yeah. yeah. All right? No. Do we all love each other? No. no. Good, good. Excellent. Is it, is it exactly what all I was right. hoping you were going to say. Now, okay. now, what are you doing with that gel? Can you just wipe your, your, wipe your hands you with the pants? Oh. Oh. Wipe your hands with the pants. Get the gel off your hands. For <laughs> goodness sake! <laughs> oh. oh, no! Oh, <laughs> stop it! No! 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 Stop it! Everyone, will you stop it? Ready? Start the music! Go! Go on! There you go. That's it. That's fine. That's fine. Oh dear. Uh, 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 Ram deep. Saw ya. Ram deep. Ram deep. Over here. What have you done? You've already got yourself in the face with it. Ram, ram You're eating it. <laughs> He's eating it. Already. Don't eat it. What are you doing? You've got a Santa beard. <laughs> you, you're not meant to do that before you. Oh, just. <laughs> right, go on. Go on. Stop the music. That's you, Andy. Come way. on. Wow. <laughs> 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 Who was that? Didn't see it, actually. Nobody knew. Should we start Delba! again? Oh. Start the music again. Start the music again. What was that? Delba. Delba. Oh. <laughs> Come over here. It's definitely a Delba decision. Well, actually, I feel bad about doing this because you're actually one of the well-behaved ones. Yeah. You actually good... do what you're told uh, and don't do what you're told not to do. Oh, so oh, I, I feel a bit mean doing this. 
Really? Should we give him a... No, no. No, Raz. OK. Should we let him off? Actually, do you know what? I'm actually feeling quite nice. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to do. No, I haven't got any control. Okay, I have no control over these guys whatsoever. No. I don't know how to control them. I have no idea. Here, Chrissy. How do nits travel abroad? Don't know. On British Airways. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That's one of our best. Oh. Richard McCourt and Dominic Wood prepare to play the first bogeys. Of 2004. In his typical mid 70s, it was described by Prince Charles. Richard McCourt, who would be the first to strike. Bogies. Nice start. 0.8. On the left hand side, that put his over 200 years. Concern. Bogies. But he responds 1.3 from Dominic Wood on this cold, crisp winter's morning. Certificates that related to births, marriages, and deaths of England and Wales. 1.3 to beat. As you can see, the athletes are both well wrapped this morning, and it is advisable when out playing bogies under these conditions that one wears the appropriate protective gear. Now, selecting a moment. And perfectly placing a 2.4 on that Japanese gentleman's head. Wood responds almost immediately with a 3.6 as we go under the bridge and over the 3.5 mark on the snotometer. McCourt, back in, he's still in the game. That's a 4.2. Wood, holding his scarf and his nerve, and hitting a 5.1, pleasing the French visitors enormously. So, Hood's up. Wood feeling secure after that last bogey. What has McCord got? Bogies! He's got a 5.5. That's a marvellous bogey. Now, old Father Thames keeps rolling along. Can Dominic Wood regain his preeminent position? Bogies! Surely he's done it. It's a 7.0. That's a fabulous bogey. And in fact, McCord concedes. Wood claws back. Let's see the winner. Bogies! And the first bogey match of 2004 is claimed by Dominic Wood. Happy New Year. Tower Ridge is falling down, falling down, turning down. Tower Ridge is falling down. I want bogeys. Carrot, mate. <laughs> Time for you to tell the difference between <laughs> Dick's face <laughs> and an ass. <laughs> 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 so, what scares you the most? Well, I've been travelling around the country to try and find out, and today I'm in the town of my football team, Manchester. Are you ready for... <laughs> Scary dick! <laughs> I've tried the box of maggots, the hairy ham, the werewolf face, the jumpy spider, but today will the people on this freezing cold street be ready for... The old man under the blanket. Ah, ah, oh, ah, oh. All right, shut up now. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Does anything scare you? <laughs> Not 
불안편에서 감성이 현주 부산 퍼센트. 아! 아! What have you bought? Nothing yet. Nothing? No. We need to go and buy something then, don't you? Just a cup of coffee. Oh, just a cup of coffee. Stop it! Stop it! I think he's taking a shining to you. Come on, get out! Are you scared of anything? Well, are you scared of anything in life? It's getting a bit nippy out, isn't it? It is. It's getting a bit cold. Yeah. We're all trying to warm up a bit, aren't we? For my age, I can even Oh, for your age, yeah. What about his age? Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 I think you're my dad. Ah, yeah. What are you scared of? Spiders. Spiders? Oh, dear. Ooh. No, I don't really like spiders either. We've already had a spider, you see. Ah! 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, 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 you did it. Boys, come over here. Now, you're obviously all Manchester lads, yes? Yeah, yeah. Which, which team are you support in Manchester? United, yeah. United, yeah. same here, nice one, boys. Yeah! Ah! 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 Oh, just be scared. Ah! Don't slap him. Ah! That's my granddad. You can't slap him. <laughs> Having a nice day today? Yeah! <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not scared. Very nice to meet you. My name's Dick, and what's your name? Jamie. Jamie! 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 Oh! 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 No! And again? Want to see it again? Oh, no, it looks like he's going to give you a slap now. Want to see it again? Want to see it again? Ready? Jamie! Ah! Oh, oh no! Now look what you've now look what you've gone and done! You made the baby cry! Yes, Manchester, you've kept up your reputation for being as tough as reinforced aluminium because only three out of ten of you were scared of the old man under the blanket. Ah! <laughs> Don't milk it, don't milk it. Yeah. Come on, ever do this. <laughs> Come on. We actually had a song, we, but there isn't any singing. We, we, we. we. Yeah, who said this show's all about toilet humour? It's not. And I'll tell you why it's not, because now we're about to do... The Butt Dance! Yeah! Yeah! All right then. So, it's time to go to my kitchen, right? We're gonna do some wicked stuff, right? I've got some, some amazing tricks lined out for you, right? I'm gonna do a magic trick for you, right? What's your name? Shout your name. All right, Philip over here is gonna do a, like, a wicked trick in a minute, right? To your mates, right? And all right, first of all, all you need to do this trick, right? You need a little bit of rice, right? So we've got some rice in there. Go on, have a look right down in there, because like, you need some puck of rice. It's gotta be like really good, fine grain stuff, right? It's from the supermarket. I'm not like Grand Nation, right? Okay. Now what you do, right? What I want you to do is just back off a bit, because I'd like to see how the trick's done, alright? Good, right, all right, mate. Like it's wicked, we're jewels. Alright, so yeah, and you get your cup, right? And you get the rice over here, right? And you need to fill the cup full of rice like that until it's really full, right? So you've got a nice big cup of rice, alright mate? Okay, look. There you go. So you got all the rice in the cup, right? Just shake a bit of it off, right? So you need not that much. Right? Wicked, right? Pucker, nice one. You following me, right, mate? Yeah, wicked. Jelly deals, alright? Now what I'm going to do is like just like simply cover it up, just wait for a couple of minutes for it to simmer, and then watch this. I want you to blow on it. Now check this out, right? The rice is now changed into lots of vegetables, right? Changed into veg. Right? Right, you like that? See? Did you like that trick, right? I got my head in my pants. 
Jesus. I got a grimy disco trash. Come on, everyone. They will clean on this as we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See Martin Floppy Horns on the left of camera there adjusting his horns. That helps him uh, helps him streamline for the race. There's little Bob Peep, and they're both being pushed by two random members of the public who have been picked up to help us on this extraordinary trolley dash. As you can see, they're limbering up. It's a very tough course. They'll be taking in uh, frozen food, sweets, and crisps, and not forgetting the delicatessen counter. There's Floppy Horns twisting his moustache. Little Bob Peep smiling as always and quite content. Go. And they're off, and they're going to the first train. Little Bob Peep almost lost his bonnet, and they're going down the aisle. Bob Peep smiles himself into the first corner, and Bob Peep's done a 180, and Floppy Horns has hit him. I can't believe it. They're over the round and round the first corner. Little Bob Peep quite confident he's going to win. Floppy Horns over a little bump, and there's been a rush on Fish Fingers, a rush on Fish Fingers, and no Fish Fingers there today. But Marty Floppy Horns doesn't care about that. Into that final corner round there, and oh, hits some biscuits. Little Bob Peep hits some biscuits. We're not worried about that. Floppy Horns is not content to uh, lay at the back. He's going to try and take over, and Little Bob Peep looks like he's going to win. It's going to be a straight victory for Little Bob Peep, but no, he's hit some cornflakes and he's got out of it, he's straight over the line and a beautiful victory there for Little Bob Pete. <laughs> Let's see the closing seconds again. As you can see, little Bob Peep coming down towards the finish line. And no, he just doesn't notice those score flakes. And there he's into them, but it doesn't stop him. As you can see, the winner of the supermarket trolley dash is little Bob Peep. Back to you, Spud, in the studio. Love it, love it. What's in that tin there? Oh, well, in this tin here, there's half a pound of tuppenny rags. Ah, oh, how much did it cost? Oh, two pence. Ah, and what's in that tin there? Oh, in this tin here, there's half a pound of treacle. Oh, very nice, lovely, but... What's it all for? Oh, well, half a pound of tuppenny rice and half a pound of treacle. Mix it up, and what have you got? I, I don't know. What's that? That's the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> pop, pop, pop goes the dribbly weasel. <laughs> oh, lovely. It's naughty Arnie Schwarzenegger! Come on, Arnie, in you go. Look, hard man. They are hard. They'll be back. Anything to say, naughty Arnie's? We've been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Great impression. Liking it. Turn around, turn around a little way. <laughs> Bend over. Right then. OK, your time starts now. Yeah, go. 100 bungalow points. Come on. Let's see you. Yeah, you've got 45 seconds. 45 seconds. If you hit their bot box, they will shout out. Hit their leather clad bot box really loud. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, you got one, Alex and Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that shot. Ooh, I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> They've all got one each now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, I'll be back. Oh, Brian and Tyrone. Oh, five, I'll be back. Oh, oh I'll be Brian and Tyrone are in the lead at the moment with three.
We'd like to end this DVD with a song from Dick. Bye.